We're back live inside the Roof Gun Gymnasium on the campus of Goshen College. My name is Dante Stanley. We're joined with the broadcasting booth this afternoon by Mike Morell. Fantastic performance today from the May Police, falling in close fashion to the Spring Arbor Cougars, 81 to 70. It is Senior Day, and so we're going to bring you through some of those Senior Day announcements right now. Uh, the seniors that are being honored today, Emily Brandenberry, the fifth year, Sadre Rougeau, Jasmine Vargas, and Susanna Yoder. Stephanie Miller currently giving the team their flowers, literally, and uh, giving them some honors to taking pictures, running through some of their accomplishments, both on the court and off the court. Very, very fun team, uh, this Goshen College team, and these uh, this core of seniors means so much. I know to Coach Stephanie Miller and uh, all of GC Athletics as well, it's great to see them in the middle of the court now, again, receiving their flowers. You've got, uh, again, Emily Brandeberry, the fifth year, who has uh, scored... 85 total points and 82 rebounds in her 80 games at Goshen College. 27 points and 27 rebounds coming this year. She put up a career high of 12 points in 15 minutes off the bench on 4 for 7 shooting recently this season at Taylor. So uh, putting up some great performances as her career winds down. We've got Sadrea Rougeau being honored as well. She's being accompanied by her grandmother and older sister. Sadrea played 108 games as a Maple Leaf since she's averaging 10 points per game this season. Uh, she also nearly put up her second collegiate Double double today. She ended up with eight points and a career high of 13 rebounds. So setting a, some personal bests as her career at GC comes to a close, which is really impressive. And uh, you've got uh, further on down the list, you got uh, Jasmine Vargas. She played 22 games here in her time at Goshen College, scored nine points and put up 21 boards. She's a nursing major, wants to work in intensive care unit or emergency department at the local hospital in Goshen. Listening to uh, what Stephanie Miller says, uh, Jasmine Vargas, a very inspira inspirational player who does a lot for this team. And, of course, last but not least, Susanna Yoder, number 10, who had a fantastic game today. She put up five points in, her, in this contest, uh, all those coming in the first half. Played a really tough ball throughout, picked up a couple steals as well. She took 178 points, 80 rebounds, 60 assists, and 25 steals in her 81 games over the course of four seasons. She's described as a curious and secretly the most hilarious person on the team, a truly entertaining player who does a lot for this team and uh, a lot for Goshen Project but it's as a whole. Currently everyone getting their flowers and uh, a big old round of applause for this 2023 women's basketball seniors. Uh, everybody's getting a little bit of a standing ovation now, which is really fantastic to see. I've followed all of these players for the past three years and uh, 
I'm very impressed by what they have done in their time here at Goshen College and uh, as they're receiving the standing ovation. So we're going to take a timeout. Set it back to the Globe Studios, and when we return, we'll make the transition from the end of this broadcast into Goshen College men's basketball. And then we'll be receiving the, their own flowers coming up in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. So stick around for that as well. Again, we'll take a timeout, send it back to Court Templeton in the studios. Thank you again for tuning into this broadcast of GC Women's Basketball. <laughs> 